planning is an annual improvement and change management routine that defines the direction of the organization. I introduced it in Loop 1 on risk management. During long-range planning, breakthrough objectives are decided by top management. We want to measure our progress towards these objectives, both on people behavior or process performance. Key behavior indicators measure the progress on factors of risk management and people development and engagement. For example, for risk, the number of near misses. For people, the training plan achievement or the number of innovations implemented. Key performance indicators measure the improvement of processes on factors of quality, speed, and cost effectiveness. For example, for quality, the first time pass rate. For speed, production plan achievement or delivery on time and in full. And for cost effectiveness, the waste percentage. Heads of department identify with their teams or mini business units how they're going to measure behavior and performance in a relevant way. Visual management is essential to focus on what is important. It can be physical or digital. KPIs and KBIs are designed to drive continuous improvement. Trigger level indicates when and what to improve on a daily or weekly basis. Monthly trends shows if the mini business unit is effective at improving the behavior and performance. When a KPI trigger level is activated, it is time for the team to understand why and solve the problem. The variation or abnormality has been corrected, but its cause is still there and the problem will likely reoccur. The root cause must be found and the problem solved. What corrective action must we do for the problem to disappear or to impact the process performance less? Based on the perceived size of the problem, different problem-solving methods can be used, from the simplest three questions to the five whys and to an even more structured method called modular problem-solving. Problem-solving is a collective activity. All methods are used within a team and through the use of charts. Charts or boards are most effective to think. Problem-solving develops a thinking people. The charts can then be scanned and uploaded on the corrective action form for record keeping and knowledge management. Key processes require focused improvements and management may decide to dedicate team resources to drive the performance trend in the right direction. The rapid improvement projects are run at the shop floor or at the office level. They are based on the improvement cutter, a scientific approach to solving problems and learning. We covered the improvement and coaching cutter in previous videos. Problem-solving methods can also be used in the context of the rapid improvement project. Visual management of the projects uses charts or a digital platform. Running these projects visually is important to think, show progress, and develop routines. The choice of physical or digital medium depends on the work environment. For example, charts on a board are better suited for improvement on the shop floor where the project leader and the coach meet daily. On the other hand, the coach and the project leader could be in different locations and the rapid improvement project focuses on a business process. The project is then run digitally. Innovations are just do it improvement projects as seen in loop one. They are the quick implementations of the countermeasures resulting from corrective actions and rapid improvement projects. Myriads of implemented innovations are the result of servant leaders engaging the hearts and minds of their team members. The accumulation of innovations has a lasting impact on the performance of the organization. The all teams meeting is held monthly with all teams represented. The purpose is about communication, alignment, and celebration. Top leadership communicates business results and the direction of the organization. Team leaders are given a platform to showcase their maturity level of their team and their contribution to the organization's success. Teams and individuals are recognized for their behavior in safety and environmental successes, their best innovations, and completed projects. We celebrate together. We introduce the one-on-one -on -one process in Loop 1 on Risk Management. The weekly or monthly conversation provides an opportunity for the coachee to feedback on improvement of behavior and processes to the coach for herself and her team. The coach provides direction and support. This is how the KPI and KBI targets are being managed during daily or weekly in the MBU meetings and the one-on-one -on -one sessions. Long-range planning objectives are met.
The loop is closed. Thank you for watching. I invite you to watch the next video on how to integrate improvement in the organization's management system so that improvement becomes daily business.